Thanks for staying with us. Now, farmers in Nigeria are returning to subsistence farming to provide for their household. The same security has kept them from returning to their farms in the planting season. Chenemi Bami has the details. Farming definitely is not an easy task, especially bending over to make ridges. A day with these farmers tells me how difficult it is to produce the food we buy at the local market, especially for farmers that do not use mechanized equipment in farming. It is tough. With rising cost of food and growing inflation, Nigeria is experiencing its worst food crisis in 40 years. Although it is the lean season of June to August, according to the FAO, the prices of food are biting harder than expected. Medium-scale farmers who normally would have had so much to spare for sales after harvest are now returning to subsistence farming, getting just enough to feed their families after harvest. For Umaru Musa, the challenge is connected to soil fertility. <laughs> The first issue is accessing fertilizer because the soil is no longer fertile because we can't afford fertilizer so the yield is low. That's why people are going elsewhere to farm, he says, because our soil is no longer fertile. So people are going to virgin lands because you wouldn't need fertilizer there. There are uh, these insecurities that we're having and second, uh, secondly, the the government are not supporting the farmers. Over 70% of Nigerians engage in agriculture, but mainly as subsistence farming. Those who hitherto had no interest in farming now feel a sense of need to farm or contend with the rising cost of food in the market. Because the one I'm farming I'm, I'm, is one that I will just manage with it, with my families. So I don't, I don't sell food. Now it's only we can only say when you have a, a bombala harvest when you have a lot. Now let me say you, you find in excess because none you cannot uh, do a, a commercial farming due to uh, one reason or the other. We talk of the import and the fund. We don't have uh, access to uh, all sorts. So as just a small farmer is uh, affecting uh, a lot. Conflict and worsening insecurity in certain regions of the country, especially in the northeast, northwest, and north central, have equally disrupted agricultural activities and displaced farmers. This has hindered food production and distribution. As many farmers are unable to visit their farmlands for fear of attacks by bandits or headsmen in the last decade, they now live in IDP camps. We don't get any space here to farm, we only go to work as laborers on people's farms. Once we get food to eat, we continue laboring. Bandits have chased our people from their villages and won't allow them to farm. And if they don't farm, how can we ensure food sufficient? Their land is more fertile than ours, but bandits won't permit them to farm. The 11th edition of the Global Food Security Index, GFSI, published in 2022 shows that Nigeria ranked 107th, scoring 42 points out of 113 countries globally in the Food Security Index. Nigeria has 70.8 million hectares of agricultural land area with maize, cassava, guinea corn, yam, beans, millet and rice being the major crops. According to the National Bureau of Statistics, for the year ending in April 2024, the average annual rate of food inflation stood at 32.74%, representing an increase of 9.52 percentage points over the 23.22% average annual rate recorded in April 2023. Harsh weather patterns, drought and floods have also impacted agricultural productivity and food production in Nigeria. Data from Nigeria's meteorological agency, NIMET, shows 
that the duration and intensity of rainfall have changed from normal across some states over the years with devastating impact on agricultural practices. In 2022, Nigeria witnessed one of its worst floods in the last decade as hundreds of villages and farmlands were submerged, displacing over 2.4 million people. Addressing food security requires a concerted effort to tackle these limitations head-on and support for the local food producers. Solving Nigeria's food challenge requires urgent measures to be taken. The farmers that we spoke to today were very clear about their stance. They no longer take food to the market from their little harvest, which makes it difficult for the ordinary Nigerian to get food to buy. Chenemebami, TVC News, Gwada.